what's different today? We've got a different operational plan. Today, my hope is the peaceful protesters will stay home and protest during the daytime and stay home at night and let us take those that have been on ruining our community and take them and deal with them in a way that brings calm to this community. And that was Missouri Highway Patrol Captain Ron Johnson talking to MSNBC's Craig Melvin this morning. Captain Johnson took over command of police forces and the National Guard. He's also a native son. He's told the community about his own children, his own experiences, and his own hopes for restoring order to the place he lives, loves, and works. Let's bring in BuzzFeed reporter Joel Anderson, who's been on the ground covering the developments from Ferguson. Joel, good to see you this morning. You know, we saw Captain Johnson get applause for his words at a church service this week. He's commanding a police force in a volatile situation, and he has additional burden of updating. Yeah, how's he doing? Is he, is he being asked to do too much? Um, well, I mean, he's definitely working overtime, um, but I mean, obviously it's necessary, this uh, situation. Um, as for how he's doing, I mean, I guess that really depends on who you ask. Um, if you ask people in the community, um, they're still very frustrated, still very upset with the police. Uh, if you ask the media, they're not particularly happy either, but a lot of that is related to um, issues of access. Um, but, you know, if you, if you talk to superiors, they may feel another way. I mean, you know, um, you know, the violence went down a little bit last night, but I mean, it's still, there's still some clashes going on out here. Yeah, you know, he, he asked protesters, as we just heard a few seconds ago, to come out during the day instead of the, the night. Do you think that's going to change things? Because, you know, they're all talking about these instigators that are coming in from out of town, and those are the people that really they're looking out to mitigate. Do you think things are going to change? People will heed the call to go out during the day? No. Um, I mean, I think that the people that he's trying to reach aren't really the people that are inclined to listen to him. Um, I do think that, you know, some of the more peaceful protesters, yes, they'll be here, you know, throughout the day. But, I mean, we're really talking about, um, you know, a younger crowd that, you know, doesn't get really started until much later in the, uh, the day. So, you know, right around about nightfall, that's when a lot of the younger, the younger people, the, the people that are a little bit more confrontational are coming out. And uh, I don't think they're going to be heeding uh, Captain Johnson's call. Um, but as far as some of the other protesters, the people that are here with signs and, you know, have really been here in, throughout the week, um, they may do that, but um, there's, there's really no way to know. <laughs> yeah, and the big question is, you know, what is it going to take for people to see that finally there is some change, there is some transparency, there is some justice, and that they can begin, begin the process of healing the that exist in Ferguson and as the congresswoman was saying that seems to almost at times seem like there are two Ferguson's as though there are also two Americas in many opportunities. Joel Anderson, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate your reporting this morning uh, in the area that has seen so much volatile things happening in the last 10 days. Appreciate your time. And I